congratulations on, on this fantastic movie. Uh, what was your reaction when you found out about BAFTAs and everything else? Uh, yeah, overwhelmed. Um, we kind of we were keeping our fingers crossed for like a debut category, but you just you never know, and the competition is so tough. There's so many good emerging filmmakers. So that was yeah, it was great, and it was great to be in, of course, the British best British film category. Something that we just totally didn't anticipate uh, being in that with you know some of my heroes. So it was a really good morning. <laughs> how was it? How have you found the the whole experience of you know making the movie, having a debut, and it coming out and getting such great applause, and also being seen in cinemas and seen by lots of lots of people? Uh, it's really gratifying because it's been a dream for 20 years. I think it was 20 years ago. I was 16 when I decided to become a filmmaker. And it's such a long uh, journey, really. You get a lot of knockbacks and you've got to be really persistent. Uh, and you're full of like director neurosis about whether you can actually <laughs> pull it off. So when you get to the place where you're premiering your film and you feel it's connecting to an audience, it's huge. I mean, it's kind of like why you do it for that moment and that it's still getting kind of recognition. It's just like testament to all the hard work, you know, the team put in. So it's great. Let me ask you about your two leads, Jesse and Johnny. Absolutely fantastic together. Obviously going to go on to many, many big things, I'm sure. But what was it about them as a pairing and separately that made them perfect for you to bring this bring this story to life? Yeah, individually, I mean, they were just, they're both very grounded people. They're very, uh, they're very sort of collaborative and committed in the performances. And they're just like, they're very raw talents in a way. It's not like, I mean, Johnny's done a few films. Uh, but he hasn't really done this type of part. And Jessie, I mean, it was her first film she's ever been in. She's done a couple of TV shows. And so we felt like we had nothing to lose. You know, we just put everything into it and kind of just really sort of tested each other to go further. And it was a real, they were like just such great collaborators. They had my back all the way. And then just together, they've, they've got a real, I don't know, like kind of chemistry where they, they have fun with each other as performers. They like to react off of each other and it was just it made my job a lot easier I could just sort of stand back and watch because I felt like you know the casting had done its job in all the way through from you know from the genesis of the project right up to now I mean has there been a moment that's kind of stood out for you I mean is it tonight that's kind of the biggest thing or just getting the movie into into cinemas and finish uh, a really big night was the premiere in Toronto like a year and a bit ago uh, just because just seeing the film with 2000 people and going from a moment of high anxiety <laughs> about uh, whether it's you know it was going to work to feeling in the room that people were connecting with it that's huge that was like the opening chapter of the film you know but going out into the world and then this is like the closing chapter and is also very overwhelming in its own way uh, so I think yeah they're two two good evenings and uh, next project are you are you are you ready to go or are you still kind of in the process of I'm writing thinking? something I'm writing something now with film four which is like a uh, diff it's like a father-son sci-fi thriller set in the states yeah it's a different genre but hopefully in a similar way it's yeah using genre to look at character and try and find something quite nuanced within a sort of familiar space ladies and gentlemen you're watching hey you guys Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!